you can use your laws of indices to solve exponential equations. So exponential equations are equations that involve indices as unknowns. For example, all of these 2 to the power x is equal to 4. Here the unknown is an index, right? Similarly for all these equations like 3 to the power x equal to 1. That means uh, this is an exponential equation because uh, the unknown is an ex uh, uh, the unknown is an index. Okay. Now why is it called exponential equations? So exponential. So that has the word exponent, right? Exponent. Now exponent is, a, is a, another word for index. Okay. So when you say 2 to the power 5, 5 is called the index. So this is what we learned so far. 5 is also called exponent. Okay. So exponent is just another word for index. And that's why this is called exponential equation. Okay. So how will you find the value of x? So, for example, um, let's do the first one. 2 to the power x is equal to 4. You cannot use divided by for exponential equations. Okay. 4 over 2. Uh, no, it is not 4 over 2. Here, to solve exponential equations, you have to express the, uh, the, uh, the, the known part or the number uh, also as 2 to the power something. So, in this case, 2 to the power x is equal to 4. This is, uh, you write this as 2 to the power x is equal to 2 to the power 2. Because you know that 4 is 2 to the power 2, right? Yes. So now they have the same base. So if the bases are equal, the exponents are also equal. The, in, the indices are also equal. So x is equal to 2. This is how you solve. Okay, so if you take b, 2 to the power x is equal to 16. You know that 16 is 2 to the power? Um, 2 to the power? 5? No, just keep, mul just, yeah, so 2 to the power 4 is 16, right? So, so what is the value of x? To, to x, equals to 4. x equal to 4. Because, see, 2 to the power x is equal to 2 to the power 4. So, x equal to 4. Then, how about c? Can you tell me what is the value of x? x is equal to 3. Very good. Because 64 is 4 to the power 3. How about D? 10 raised to X is 1000. Yeah, 10 to the power 3. So, X is equal to 3. Very good. Uh, so, you should, like, through practice, you will get familiar with all these powers. Like, um, 4 to the power 3. This is 64. Similarly, through practice, you will become you know, familiar with all these small powers, right? 5 to the power 3 is what? 5 times 5 times 5. 125. Similarly, yeah, you are already familiar with a lot of squares, right? Like 7 square is how much? 7 square is? 49, right? Seven, 7 square is 7 times 7. So, it's, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, you should be familiar with these, uh, you know, small powers of uh, small integers. Anyway, uh, you will get familiar when you do, when you do problems. For example, if you get a problem like 5 raised to x is equal to 625, uh, you will notice that 625 is 5, 5 to the power 4. Okay, so x equal to 4. Then, how about uh, the last one? 3 to the power x is equal to 
x equal to zero, zero because you know that three to the power zero is one. one. Okay. Fine. So this this is a uh, yeah. These are very simple exponential equations. Now we'll do complicated ones. Find the value of z in each of the following. Okay, so let's take the first one. 2 to the power z minus 1. So when you write z in your exam, it is recommended to write it like this. Okay. Otherwise, people will mistake it for 2. Even you yourself might mistake it for 2. Okay. So 2 to the power z minus 1 is equal to 8. So, 2 to the power z minus 1. You know that 8 is 2 to the power 2 to the power 3. So, z minus 1 is equal to No, z minus 1 is equal to 3. So, z is equal to 4. So, that's how we solve exponential equations. Okay, so can you solve this one? 3 to the power z plus 2 is equal to 27. So you know that 27 is 3 to the power? 27 is 3 to the power 3. So this z plus 2 equal to 3. So z is equal to? 1. Okay. Then how about C? 4 to the power 2z equal to 64. 64 means 4 to the power 3. So 2, 2z is 3. Z is, z is 3 by 2. Oh, so you can just leave it as 3 by 2 or you can write 1.5. Okay. Then how about D? Tell me the answer for D. Zero. Ah, brilliant. What about E? 3 raised to Z is equal to 9 raised to z minus 1. Okay, here you need to express both of them with the same base. Okay. Yeah, so instead of 9 raised to z minus 1, you can write 3 square, right? Raised to z minus 1. Okay. So, uh, so, this is a raised to m whole raised to n. So, that's 3 raised to 2 into z minus 1, right? Yes. So, that's 3 raised to 2z minus 2z minus 2, right? If you, when you open the bracket, 2z minus 2. So, so, what did you get? 3 raised to z is equal to 3 raised to 2z minus 2. So, you can write z is equal to z is equal to 2z minus 2, isn't it? 3 raised to z is equal to 3 raised to 2z minus 2. So, z is equal to 2z minus 2. So, what is z? When you, when you solve this equation, you get z is equal to z equal to 2, yes. Uh, f, okay, can you try f? Phi to the power z is equal to 125 to the power phi to the power 3 whole raised to z, right? So that's phi to the power 3z, isn't it? So what is the value of z? 0, yes. So the answer is 0. Okay. So here z is equal to 0. Got it? Find the value of n in each of the following. 
let's try the first one 1 by 2 raised to n is equal to 8 see whenever you have a fraction like 1 by 4 you should immediately realize that this is the same as 4 to the power negative 1 right 1 by 3 is the same as 3 to the power negative 1 so don't forget that so whenever you have 1 by a that is a to the power negative 1 okay now solve this yeah so 1 by 2 is 2 to the power minus 1 that whole raised to n so 2 to the power negative n equals 8 means what 2 cube yes so n is equal to minus 3 yes okay fine how about b can you do b 81 is 3 to the power 4 then Ah. Uh, 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 and so equals to Oh very good. N is equal to negative four. Then how about D? N, N plus one, right? One. So, uh, okay, so minus N equals 2n plus 2, yes. n equal to, so this is a multiplication here, minus 3 times n. Minus 3n means minus 3 times n. 2 over 3. What happened to the negative sign then? Negative 2 over 3. How about e? N plus n plus one equal to two. Minus n minus one. Yes. Then n negative n minus one. Zero. Zero. What? What is the what is the index of two? The on the right hand side, it's two to the power one, right? Yes. So this is equal to one, right? N is equal to negative two. Negative two. Okay. Okay. Let's just do one more problem. Find the value of x in each of the following. 3 raised to minus x is 27. Negative 3, very good. Yeah, let's do a few more. We are all, uh, done with this. Uh, 2 raised to minus x equals 128. 2 raised to minus x equals 128 is what? 128. See, when you are confused, just do your old prime factorization. Okay. 2. So, 64. 2. 32. 2. 16. 2. 8. 2. 4. 2. 2. 2. 1. So, 128 is 2 to the power? 7. 7, yes. So, x is? Uh, 7. Four, negative one, 7. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. X is negative 7. Okay. Then, 1 by 16. How will you do that? Um, 4x equals to 16 over 16 negative 4. Negative 4. Four to the power minus x is? 16 to the power minus 1. Okay. Four square, yes. 
16 is 4 square. So, 4 square to the power minus 1. So, 4 to the power minus x is 4 to the power minus 2. So, x will be 2. Very good. Yes. Then, then, then e 2 to the power minus x is to the power minus 1 yes 2 to the power minus x is see 128 is 128 is 2 to the power 7, seven right 128 times 2 is how much uh, 256 okay so it is 2 to the power 8 okay so so 2 to the power 8 whole raised to minus 1. So, 2 to the power minus 8, right? Yes. So, x will be 8. Then, okay, last problem for today. 3 to the power minus x plus 1 is equal to 81 to the power negative 1. So, negative, uh, 3 negative x plus 1 is 3 power of 4. Ah, 4 whole raised to minus 1. So, it will become negative 4. Negative 4. Okay. So, minus x plus 1 is minus negative 4. Negative. Yes. X equals, x equals 5. 5. Yes, that's the right answer.